Hi guys, so we're going to talk about dripstone caves today, and dripstone caves are a new addition to Minecraft, and they're really quite cool. And if you haven't seen them, gosh, you got to go and find them. But the question about the uh, dripstone caves, of course, is how do you find them? Now, it used to be that one of the best ways to just go and find things is just to go and mine deep, and then start mining across. Like as if you're looking for an abandoned mine shaft, or a zombie spawner, or something, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Dripstone caves, uh, yeah, you can still find them that way, and it's not a bad way. So definitely, if you're building your own mine shaft and you're trying to find a dripstone cave that way, it will work. However, because of the way generation works in the new versions of Minecraft, there is actually a better way, just because caves are so much more abundant. Now, I don't know this will remain true forever, because in future updates, they could change it. It's always possible. But for now, the version is 1.18.2. That's when I'm filming it. This is, I'm going to show you a good way to go and find it. Um, we're just going to start walking around. And by the way, I am in Java. So if you're on a different version of Minecraft, be warned. It could be different. But, I mean, if you have the Caves and Cliffs update, it should be the same. Oh. Um, okay, no, that's, that, that's a ravine. Okay, so ravines are not good. They could be helpful, but you're not looking for a ravine. Oh, there we go. See, that right there is t called a ravine, but this is actually not a ravine. You see how it kind of goes to the side? That is what you're looking for. And really, these things are everywhere. You want to find caves that look like this, because more often than not, they'll lead you straight into a dripstone cave. So we're going to come jump down here and see if it actually does. The thing is, there are so many different ways to go, that even if it doesn't lead into a dripstone cave right away, it probably will just a little ways down. Of course, the one thing about this is because it's so expansive and it goes to the side here, which means light is not direct down here. Yeah, hostile mobs are going to spawn more often. So uh, they're a little more dangerous than they used to be. But I mean, heck, it's fun. You just come down here and start exploring and you can explore through them a lot quicker. Of course, if you're on peaceful, <laughs> that might be the way to go. But really, this is the best way to find dripstone caves. It's just roam around on top on the surface until you find one of these places and then just jump down and look through. And unfortunately for me, it looks like... Um... Looks like I didn't find it this time. That's okay. I just barely started, you know? It's only been like, not even two minutes, you know? That's pretty quick. Oh. And sometimes you find places are filled with water. Of course, if you find them filled with water underground, guess what? You have a greater chance of finding glow squids. That's where you find them, deep underwater, or deep underground in these water chasms. You'll find lots of glow squid. I sometimes even find them spawning off of the waterfalls, like right there. You can find them there too. Hmm, okay. Oh, as far as levels of dripstone caves and where they spawn, um, really it's just pretty much anywhere underground. Especially under level 60, you'll find your dripstone caves. Looks to me like we've struck out with this one. That happens. You're not going to find everything right away when you want it. They didn't want this game to be too easy. I mean, if it was too easy, it wouldn't be fun, right? I'm going to just throw myself in the spectator for now. Just to see if a dripstone cave does appear. Oh, there's Amethyst Geode. And yes, if you have cheats on and you throw stuff into spectator, you'll find it really fast. Oh, see, there's a dripstone cave over there. Right there. That's pretty cool, huh? Usually, though, there's an entryway from the surface. That one. Oh, look at that. Now it's a geo is exposed in here. This would be a great place to build a base. Golly. You, there's almost always a, a direct way to get down there. That one looks a little bit more complicated. There's another dripstone cave. Oh, yeah, see, that one goes up over there to the surface. But yeah, th th that's usually the case, though. Use the quickest way. I mean, you can mine, but, I mean, you have to mine for a long time, and it's the, the waiting of just going in a direction. It's better to just roam the, the surface of the overworld and look for these little areas that just jet down in the ground like that. And lots of times, the dripstone cave will be, like, right here. And you'll just see it from the surface. And if you're peeking down there and you think, Oh, I don't see it anywhere. It looks too dangerous. You're more than welcome to just, you know, go ahead and go somewhere else and see if you happen to see one from the surface. Ah, village. Is there one from this village? 
Oh! Hey, look! A village and an abandoned mine shaft. Right next to each other. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, ooh! Now that's cool. And lush caves. Three of them right next to each other. What are the odds of that? Well, anyways, so... At least now you know a little bit more about dripstone caves and how to find them. And hope that's been helpful to you. Yeah, so, um, there you guys go.